When you visit Paris, the thought might hit you. What would it be like to live here? To wake up every day to this. This is what it's like to be a local in Paris. To be part of the city and to live la vie parisienne. Well, I looked. Life in Paris is not all costumes and museums. There is a world of difference between swanning around as a visitor and living life here 24-7. The pros of Paris are obvious to everyone. In my opinion though, the cons can be summed up into four points. One, Paris is really expensive. The shop windows just taunt you. Number two, the apartments are really small. Number three, the metro. I mean, the metro itself is really good, except that it gets really crowded and stuffy and smells bad. And number four is the winters because they're very long. It gets really dark very soon and kind of depressing. So how would you fit in? How would you dress? Would your priorities change? Would you? change. Is it as romantic as it looks? First up, I have to give you a disclaimer. There are many different ways you can live Paris. I'm only able to give you what my life is like here as a Parisian. Actually, am I a Parisian? I mean, according to some people, probably not. I mean, I'm French. I live in Paris. I know it well, better than anywhere else on this planet. It's my home. What I do know is la vie parisienne. Oh, and uh, if you watch till the end, you'll see a cheat sheet of 10 things that prove you're a Parisian. You can live here for decades and you'll never get bored of life in Paris. It's a feast for the senses, for the taste buds for touch, for the eye, for the ear, and for the mind. It's a city always aware of beauty. Sure, I mean, you still have to work, pay bills, the problems you find anywhere on the planet. You also have to dodge dog poop. It's not nearly as bad as it used to be, but still an occasional hazard. But in Paris, savoir vivre, the art of living, is very important. When you live in Paris, there is one world-beating fact you cannot escape. Paris is popular, hugely popular. It is the most touristed city in the world. The city proper has 2.2 million people living in it, and it gets 36 million visitors a year. For every Parisian resident, there are 16 other people in the same space. So there are some tourist hotspots Parisians avoid, like the Champs-Élysées, around the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, but Parisians have a few areas they call their own. With so many people from around the world, you can dress how you like in Paris. Be as comfortable or as classy as you like. There are some ways that you can look more Parisian. I like to go for chic, but... But... Thing. Sneakers can go with every outfit. That's very Parisian these days. My clothes are mostly natural fiber. Cotton, wool, silk, cashmere. I don't like synthetics, which are actually really bad when you have to walk a lot or get into a hot metro because you sweat through it. And you can honestly tell from a distance that it's synthetic. You see, you can't have a lot of clothes in your wardrobe in Paris because apartments are so small. So it's best to have stylish clothes you can mix and match together rather than fast fashion. So to give you an idea of what Paris apartments are like, I'm going to show you around my tiny apartment. 
you know, this is probably as big as a um, an LA wardrobe. <laughs> Paris is like New York. You almost need to be a millionaire to buy a decent sized place. You spend maybe a third of your income on your rent and good places are really hard to find. I have a bedroom, which is great because normally when it's this small, you don't get a bedroom, but it's actually a very, very tiny bedroom. Well, it sees to the courtyard, so I don't get that much light in here. I prefer waking up with the light. Now, those people across the hall get a lot of light. My earplugs, because there's a restaurant down here and there's a lot of noise, and my neighbors like to party a lot. Paris water is so heavy that it will turn your hair into a completely different quality, uh, which is a pretty shitty quality. <laughs> lucky to have a big enough closet to well it's enough for one person it's definitely not enough for two people the kitchen is a tiny kitchen that's separate unfortunately it, it was really important for me to have a washing machine and a dishwasher and now a tiny dishwasher so there you have it it's not big enough to swing a cat well, okay fine <laughs> Time is different. An hour or more for lunch is entirely normal. Double or triple that for dinner. Work often starts around 8.30 or 9 a.m. and it finishes around 5, 6, 7. Money. Even though Paris is one of the most expensive cities on the planet, you do not talk money. You talk about your hobbies, your passions, but you don't talk about how much money you make. Leisure. Parisians know how to do leisure and they're often in a rush to get to it. Paris is a snacky city. You walk fast, get chores out of the way, so you can spend more time enjoying the city. She doing things well is a point of pride. Not just for Parisians, but generally for the French. You appreciate beauty, even if it's not necessary. Well, especially if it's not necessary. Paris is a city that's really aware of beauty. Um, I mean, not just the big things, but also, you know, you're walking by and there's a tiny little thing that you see and it surprises you. It always surprises you. Living in Paris, you have your favorite places. But you also keep discovering new ones. Favorite places often pull you back because of value for money. In new places, quality really matters. When trying to find new places, friends' recommendations are the most important. There are so many websites for tourists that are completely wrong. One of the best things about Paris are the neighborhood markets. Great for groceries. Dinner at friends' places is a treat. Our places are so small, dinners are usually for close friends only. There's lots of wine and conversation. You can be as funny or controversial as you like. No subject is taboo, as long as you do it with wit. If you do get invited to someone's place in Paris, it's best to bring a good bottle of wine and a passion for debate. It is a sin to sit there too politely like a wet rag. This is Xavier, the most Parisian of my friends. And I was born and raised in Paris, and we're not a lot of us. Can you what? Be considered, uh, it depends uh, who is gonna consider you. Under 30 or over 30, because that's two different Persian life. Under 30, you're gonna have drinks, you're gonna meet some people in some crappy bar like La Perle, and suddenly someone says, oh, there is this party, in this apartment 
from the guy that know that guy that knows the guy and and you're gonna end up and at the end you're gonna be five in the morning in a bar and having coffee and croissant and i mean that's cliche but that's true there's something about paris that i don't like when you're over 30 is that the first part you have to be invited somewhere you yeah. have to be invited to dinner it's not happening over the weekend at least it's not happening in a restaurant so that's the i mean the, the difficult part if you're not from paris like a person, a lover, a parent, times even a bully. Sometimes it's that sensational aunt you love who parties hard despite her age. That affects you. Every Parisian I know has a fierce affection for Paris. It might be conflicted because the city does trip you up sometimes, but there is nowhere else on earth like it. So yeah, Paris has changed me. I'd say I am more international. I'm discerning, yes, that's the right word. I'm more impatient, though not in a mean way, and I'm definitely more inspired by my surroundings. I think I'm just less open to speaking with strangers. There are just so many visitors here. You can't be friendly 300 times a day. It's really exhausting, but you do have to be polite with French people because, you know, that's how you roll. But of course, not with everybody either because there are des Français qui sont des porcs quand même. So if I could go back in time and tell myself what I've learned after a decade in Paris, what would I say? I did 2012 really wanted adventure and new experiences and discovering things and I wish I could tell her that it's coming big time. Is Paris as romantic as you think? Yes. <laughs> and yes. Paris is romantic. It just keeps surprising you. It's not romantic every day, but it is more romantic more often than anywhere else you might live. And that matters. Here's the promised cheat sheet of 10 things that prove you're a Parisian. Number one, you chuckle when you see tourists wearing berets. Number two, you avoid changing metros at Châtelet or Montparnasse. And you really hate people who stand on the left side of the escalators. Number three, you've been up the Eiffel Tower once. Once. Number four, Mona Lisa is la jacon et tu t'en fous complètement. Number five, you tip maybe two euros for dinner. Nothing for drinks. Number six, you know everything that goes on in the apartment en face, but you pretend that you don't know what they look like naked when you see them in the street. Number seven, you walk fast everywhere and you do not give way on the sidewalk. Number eight, you do not queue. A queue is an ass and you are not an ass. Number nine, you can calculate area in square meters in an eye blink. And number ten, an American is in fact an allongé. Un café au lait is in fact un crème. One extra point just for fun. Black is the new black. <laughs>